Andrea Lay, VP of Strategy at IdeoClick, and I'm here with your weekly e-commerce news update. Our first topic, and we have a lot of topics about advertising this week, is how Twitter is expanding their ad strategies and data strategies to continue to attract e-commerce business and e-commerce advertising. Um, they released apparently a pitch deck to AdAge, and uh, it contains a lot of information, con you know, expressing why Twitter, why now, and um, you know, as it relates to advertising as well as addressing some of the privacy concerns and talking about how they've really rebuilt their ad platform to be attractive to brands and marketers. So everyone wants a piece of the e-commerce advertising game and Twitter's certainly no exception. Uh, second advertising topic this week is uh, Google, so soaring search ad prices. It's no surprise that CPCs would be going up as a um, cost of advertising for um, e-commerce, you know, search-driven advertising is increasing as more customers flock online and search Google for products. But, you know, especially for some of these e-commerce hungry marketers, uh, this is posing some unique challenges from a budgeting perspective. We're certainly seeing the same thing on Amazon with CPCs rising and advertisers looking for more creative ways to advertise their product through demand side platform and other means of targeting besides search advertising. Um, but I thought this was interesting. So, uh, you know, e-commerce is kind of coming back down to earth. It's meant to be accounting for 7.8% of total retail sales in 2021, but it really depends who you're talking to. And you know, I think particularly for some categories, we're expecting a lot of sustained shift to e-commerce. And so um, certainly makes sense that advertisers would be flocking to digital uh, digital means and, and search-based advertising with, with, um, with all of their budgets. Next topic is Instacart, so growing partnerships and retailers exploring some same-day delivery options. So this is interesting, the off-plate price retailer Five Below has now expanded their collaboration with Instacart. They had done a pilot and apparently it was pretty successful. Um, and they you know, have rolled their partnership out at some shops in Detroit, Cleveland, Chicago, and Buffalo, and California, Texas. But this allows customers to get same day delivery of the retailer's collection of merchandise for summer season and for back to school, including clothing, beach towels, et cetera. And I think what's interesting about this is how they're going to make this profitable. So Five Below, traditionally a pretty you know, low priced retailer, obviously it's in the name, but you know, most of the products are under $10. And so how do you make delivery on those economical and, and uh, you know, certainly if the costs are all being passed on to the customer via Instacart's model, that actually works out pretty well. And then last topic for the week is Amazon. So gaining a lot of traction in um, the beauty industry and it, and really, uh, according to Business Insider, they believe that Amazon can really edge out Sephora and Ulta Beauty for the $380 billion cosmetics business. Only time will tell. Um, however, you know, certainly they've made some progress there over the past few years. However, Sephora and Ulta Beauty, you know, are pure, they're you know, playing specifically in one category, not trying to make their shopping experience for every category, not trying to make their shopping experience um, you know, for, for all customers, they're really able to be focused and make that experience unique to beauty. And that's certainly a challenge that Amazon has had. So, um, they'll be, you know, uh, debuting some exclusive partnerships with celebrities, et cetera, and, um, and have been doing so. And obviously some of that is starting to pay off. It's one of the company's fastest growing businesses. So, um, and it was apparently one of the best selling categories for Prime Day. So really exciting there to see some progress from Amazon on the beauty front. That's your weekly e-commerce news update. I'm Andrea Lay, VP of Strategy at IdeoClick, and I'll see you next week.